All right, here we go, folks. Uh, what we're gonna do right now is add this treble hook on back of the Sweet Six Shed seven inch spin blade and the Predator color. And then we're gonna have to use this Power Pro braid and epoxy to basically um, wrap that swivel right here underneath or right under the treble hook and you know wrap that up enough where it's tight and then knot it and then put the epoxy over it to basically um, you know solidify it so that way you know it that knot doesn't co come unraveled just in case um, I got a love and hate relationship with this epoxy crap uh, what helps is having a paintbrush to put it on. This is actually a really too wide of a brush, but you gotta work with what I have. So, um, so here we go. Um, where I'm gonna do the traditional thing, what I've been doing in the previous video, where I slit this open, and we can just go through that again. I've kind of gotten a lot better at it. Um, I've done like six of them so far, um, but I really want to try putting a treble hook on back. So. Here we go, where we start, right about there. Gotta find that crimp, the uh, single barrel sleeve right there, and then we gotta, again, clip it off. Okay, let's get some wire. Slide some of that stuff out. Looks like it's stuck. Great. <laughs> there it goes. Alright, you always again leave a little slack so just in case you make a mistake. Love modifying my layers, folks. It can be a lot of fun. There we go. Finally. All right, kind of tough. This was kind of tough running down the body. So there we go. We got it out. Got running out the other side. Oh, first put our sleeve on. Got to slice this open a little bit. this bad boy down all right so we can uh, glue that later with the mendic glue but right now we're gonna Put this, uh, run this wire through the eye of the treble hook, um, but of course put the barrel sleeve on first. It's always the first thing to do. Like so. Run it through the other hole of the double barrel sleeve. So you want, I mean, you kind of want this to sit up a lot further um, than the traditional ball bearing because since we got a giant hook on it, so I'm going to try and move that sleeve up. 
as high up as possible just about let's see where we're at compared to that one yeah need to do it a lot more pull on that tag get it closer all right let's see where are we at where are we at I think that's pretty good right there might be a little too up far pull it out a little more let's see I think that's good no well, I think we're good man so we can crimp that right now that tag favorite part not at all I hate this not sticking out too much right, there we go. so basically there we go we got that treble hook So there we go, we got that uh, treble hook on back there, of the Sweet Six Shed Spin Blade. Um, looks kind of neat, doesn't it? Compare it to this one up here. Like it's meant to be there, or it should have been there, you know? <laughs> and we're going to actually attach this on back of here I don't even know if I need that uh, split ring I might be able to just take that off yeah mm-hmm I can take that off let me go get my split ring pliers because basically I mean you're gonna be running a few wraps around that uh, inside that hole there with the power pro braid and so we're gonna run it through Hole on the barrel swivel. Having the hardest time because that end has a little thread sticking out. Just wet it a little bit. There we go. First wraps gonna be across that hood hook, and then we're gonna run it. Through the other side, that hole on that swivel. Like so. I'm trying to think this out. If we run it around two hooks, then do it. Or all three. Oh, I think two. Let's try two. We did two right there. Then we're running it through the swivel again. Let's bring it up. Okay, that worked. So I ran it around two hooks instead of one, and it kind of centers that swivel underneath the hook. So make sure you. There we go. It centers it. So what we could do, we could make a knot right there. That way we keep it tight against the hook I think that's smart smart thing to do so we're gonna make a knot right now tighten that up as much as possible make a knot right now like so there we go so this is basically what it's gonna look like 
kind of cool, huh? So we're just going to keep wrapping it. Okay, finally, get it through the hole. Wrap around that hook once. Okay, it seems to be evening out the way that's hanging. So you want to kind of loose a little, li little loose. Okay, there we go. See all that thread right there. I'm just gonna make as much loops around that hole of that swivel as I can. So I did that one how many times? I'm gonna take the other thread and do it a few times too. I think that should be enough. So we're just gonna keep I'm going to wrap this around the hook, these two lines. Just keep wrapping it. And then we'll, then we'll knot it and then epoxy all that stuff kind of like you do I would suspect you know on a uh, on a guide on a rod so that way you know pretty strong I don't think it'll be going anywhere this suction cup vice sure sucks <laughs> okay I think that's good so what we're gonna do now is not that bad boy and then put some epoxy on it. So here we go. Come on around the end, make a loop. Not true loop. Oh boy, oh boy. I should have left myself a little more slack, but I got it. I got it. Make that not come down. Like so. Make another knot. Just cut that. Here we go. There we go. How's that look? Pretty neat. I think so. Alright, so let's get our glue ready. I love this epoxy shit. No, I hate this stuff. Get it on your hands. And then it gets everywhere. Alright, mix it up. I wish, yeah, this, this paintbrush is too big, but again, this is what I have at the moment. So get a little bit of glue on there. Just dab it on each side. Mainly for near that knot, you know. Not too, not too hard. God, that stuff stank, man. Make sure you don't get it near the damn, uh, what's that called, uh, swivel. Oh, I got it on a hook. That's not good. All right, there we go. I think you got enough on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's check the other side. Oh, it's dripping. Luckily, I have a little bit of paper towel here where I can get that drip. Here we go. A little more. Get that stuff off the hook. Don't want to ruin the sharpness of the hook. You want your hooks as sharp as possible with musky. Alright, I think we're good, man. I think that's enough. Might be able to wipe a little more from it. As long as it's not dripping, should be good, but check that out. Pretty cool, man. Zoom on a little bit. 
Look sharp, so I'm telling you, I'm telling Sweet Sex right here, man, you guys need to do this because I think this would really increase your chances of catching Esox, both uh, Pike and Muskie, since they're going to be going after the blade and back. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it can get a lot better hookups, man. A lot less hits and misses, so I can't wait to cast this. I still don't know for sure if this is going to run right. The only way is to try it out. Erica! Turn that wrap down. So, pretty neat. I don't know. Can't wait to try it out. The only next thing to do, well, the next thing to do is seal this up with the mana glue, but the next thing to do is get out and try this bad boy out at the Nime Up here.